here at Ruby's by the train station. The best part of it was we were all gathered together, huddled together in a wonderful sense of community. All of the Orange County Founders District people that could make it were here celebrating not only the stars on the stage, but we were celebrating the joy of being together. Welcome to Founders District Television. What do we have planned for today? An interview with Michael Masato. What else? A DC meeting. And? A partying it up with the club's medley number one. Those guys really know how to party. And welcome to Founders District Television. <laughs> Step aside ESPN and Fox, Founders District has joined the media revolution. A group of Toastmasters who were unable to make the trip to Orlando for the International Convention gathered at Ruby's Diner in Orange to watch a recorded broadcast of the International Speech Competition, thanks to Smedley Club No. 1. All had a great time, good food and drink. About the only thing that would have made the night better would have been seeing District Champ Michael Masato in the final round. Well, we really had a fun time gathering together, a very large group of people, it seems to me. Anyhow, we packed this little small room at Ruby's and had a great experience sharing the contest that occurred just a day ago, but we made a sort of a pact not to know ahead of time who was going to be the winner, so it was all the fun of actually being there for real. And it's a great opportunity to get together with a lot of Toastmasters, and we enjoy that each and every time. Well... I really enjoyed watching it. That the uh, speeches, of course, were world class, and they had world class speakers. But what I get most out of it is when I watch it, I put my mind into the learning mode, and I learn from listening and watching. So not only do I am I entertained by their speeches, and I get to watch a good competition, I get to improve as a speaker. That. Because, in other words, I become a student myself, and I learn from what they do and how they do it. And that's why I value the international speech contest. Not that not only do I get to watch great speakers, I get to become a better speaker. Well, first off, I want to thank Smedley for putting it on. I had a ball here, familiar faces, new faces, so I had a, had a ball gabbing with them. Good choice of places also with good food. And it was fun to watch the contestants and share observations. What did you like about them? What did you think here? What would you vote? Who would you have vote? So it was fun to share that also, and of course we all had different results at the end. But I'm looking forward to doing this again next year. So thank again, thanks again, Smedley, for pulling this off. Thank you. August not only brought us hot and humid weather here in Southern California, but also the first DEC meeting of the Toastmaster year. This meeting is significant because of the special recognitions announced. First, Area Governor of the Year was awarded to Wendy Federley, Area Governor of B4. Next, Division Governor of the Year is Lahia Molina, the Division B Governor. Division B claimed the first President's Distinguished Area of the Year. Finally, drum roll please! Toastmaster of the Year award was given to Chris Gregory, who did not let multiple trips to the hospital dampen his spirit and efforts. Congratulations, Wendy, Lahia, and Chris for your outstanding achievements. Here's Eleni Christensen with these fantastic awards. We have Lahia Molina, Distinguished Toastmasters for Founders District, here with today, August, do I need to give the date? Here today who has received not one, but two uh, very distinguished awards, being Division B Governor of the Year and Division Governor of the Year. Congratulations, Lejia. I am so happy, and we are so happy for you in this wonderful accomplishment. I have to tell you, having seen you in various events, you bring enthusiasm to the room. How do you feel about receiving this award? I feel very happy. I began the year with a goal in mind to bring my division to the top. I encouraged them and our goal was to have a journey to excellence. 
And I kept telling my division, we are holding hands together. We are together in a journey, but not a regular journey. The journey is to excellence. And I kept asking them, what is excellence? Excellence is just an attitude. Excellence is just the wish to do the best of your abilities. Every day, not one day. We have a lot of fun in Division B. We have tremendous participation of the division. And today I feel very humble because when I think of all the effort it took for our division to be the first division president distinguished in the Founders District, we didn't do that at the end of the year in a rush. We plan it. I planned it from the beginning. By March, Division B was President Distinguished. We didn't rush until the end. And we really had a good time building up our awards, but especially the club member. We work for each one of the club members to achieve their expectations. We help them. We did it in a journey to excellence. Well, congratulations, Lihia, and thank you so much for your commitment to excellence in Founders District. We're very proud of you, and you have very well deserved this honorable award. Thank you very much. Congratulations, oh, Chris thank Gregory, you so much. on your award as Toastmaster of the Year for the District. Wow. How do you feel about that? I am very humbled. I, I, I really did not expect this, and I just say that it takes a team. And I, what I was really blessed with was an incredible team of Toastmasters that really made everything happen. We're well, very glad to have had you as part of our team. And what did you do? What do you think is a secret to, to your success in having earned this wonderful uh, accomplishment? I know I could speak for you, but I'd rather you well, tell it's... us a little bit about what inspired you, what motivates you to do these, this great work. Actually, I was an area E3 governor a number of years ago in, in District 1, and I had to come up with a motto, and the motto is, uh, that I came up with was encourage, educate, and empower. And for me, that's what Toastmasters is all about, and that's what I really try to follow, is encouraging people to do their best, show, telling them what they have, educating them to what your vision is, and empowering them to be able to do it. And this year, I have to tell you, I really found out that the branding that Toastmasters said where leaders are made really does make a lot of sense to me and it's 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 all teamwork